everybody, it's Anthony, and I am here today to kind of talk you through uh, Google Earth. Google Earth is an awesome website and app that allows you to really experience the world uh, virtually and go to visit all sorts of different famous landmarks, go uh, and explore uh, foreign countries that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to uh, easily and uh, provides a lot of context too for students who are exploring this kind of stuff. Gives some basic historical information, uh, some more uh, close-up pictures of these various sites, and uh, it's really easy to use. Google Earth comes in a few different flavors. One is the web version, which you launch right in your browser. Uh, another one is a downloadable program that you can download right onto your computer, uh, whether it's a PC or a Mac. And then the last one is a mobile version. So there's a version for Android and iOS devices as well. So the one that we're gonna focus on today is the one that you find right here in your browser. What I've done is I go to, I've gone, gone to google.com slash earth, and I get this splash screen here, which shows you kind of some of the more majestic uh, sites that it has in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on launch earth. So when I click on Launch Earth, it's going to open up a new tab, and it's going to load. It is pretty graphic uh, intensive, so it will definitely, it's not something that you should be running when you've got 5,000 other programs running or lots of other tabs running. I have probably too many that uh, I have open, and I really shouldn't, but that's okay. I'm going to throw caution to the wind and just try it out. Let's see what happens. So, uh, like I said, it's a kind of an intense uh, website, so it's taken a little while to load reminiscent of the late 90s and a dial-up connection when you were trying to download a picture, one picture. So you can imagine what running Google Earth on your Windows 98 computer would have been. So anyway, here we are. We see the globe, uh, and what we're going to do is explore one of the features that it has uh, in it. First thing that we're going to go over right now is just searching and viewing the knowledge cards that you have in Google Earth. So this is great for students because it's super easy to do and because it's Google, searching is a, a piece of cake. So I'm going to search for something. I'm going to search for the Empire State Building. So I search for the Empire State Building. Uh, shows me some various choices here. Okay, I'm going to go with the one on West 34th Street in New York City. And what's going to happen now is it's going to be kind of an animation that's going to zoom in. All right, and we're zooming into Manhattan. And we're going to see the Empire State Building in front of us. So, again, lots of graphics, uh, but it's kind of cool because it does show you like a 3D version of it, and especially in comparison with the other buildings around it, which is kind of nice. Um, and the thing that I was talking about before, the knowledge cards, over, are, are this over here on the upper right-hand corner. And it gives you a little bit of basic information. It steals it from Wikipedia, which I know is not the most ideal source, uh, but it's easy and it's fairly accurate at this point. Um, and it provides you a link to be able to go right to that site. Okay, so you get some more basic information about the Empire State Building. Is this going to be where I want to encourage the students to get all their information from? No, of course not. We want to make sure that they're exploring a bunch of different resources, um, but it's enough to kind of get them started uh, and it definitely to kind of pique their interest about uh, the, the place. All right, um, and as you see here, we can add it to a project. And uh, so if they're working on, say, famous landmarks in New York City, that's something they can add that project to and they can go and search for some other ones and get some other information so they put it all in one spot. Uh, but that knowledge card here kind of gives you a lot of information here. And then the other thing is people also explore. Okay, so another thing is, so we're talking about tall buildings. So now we're talking about the Chrysler building in New York City, okay, uh, which we can add to a project. And we can click through and we can look at all these various ones. So it makes it really easy to explore all these various um, landmarks in the area, and it relates it to what your original search was. All right, um, so I'm going to have a bunch of these short little videos showing you some other stuff. I hope you find them interesting. Let me know if you need any help. Happy to help at any time. Thanks. Bye.